Welcome to Opera Oasis, a new series from Opera Las Vegas featuring singers and instrumentalists from Las Vegas and around the country. My name is Joshua Horsch, and I'm the music director and principal conductor of Opera Las Vegas. In each installment of this series, we'll explore arias and instrumental solos from some of history's most beloved operas. We'll also explore the history and context of each opera and what makes the music we'll hear so extraordinary. If you want to see more content like this from Opera Las Vegas, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. In this installment, we'll be exploring Gluck's incredible opera Orfeo et Eurydice. First performed in Vienna in 1762, this opera is based on the famous legend of Orpheus and his journey into the underworld to save his beloved Eurydice. Orfeo was Gluck's most famous opera and heavily influenced later German operas, with variations of the opera's plot being found in Mozart's The Magic Flute, Beethoven's Fidelio, and Wagner's Das Rheingold. Up first today is the famous aria from Act Three, Che farò senza Eurydice, or What Shall I Do Without Eurydice? At this point in the opera, Orpheus has made his way to the underworld, convinced the Furies to release Eurydice, and has been allowed to lead her out of the underworld on the condition that he cannot look at her until they have completely left the underworld. Eurydice does not understand why Orpheus will not look at her and believes that he no longer loves her. Unable to take this, Orpheus turns to tell Eurydice that he loves her, causing her to die once again. Looking down at his beloved, Orpheus sings this incredible aria. Singing for us today is an opera Las Vegas favorite, Mary Beth Nelson. Mary Beth was recently featured as Ruth Bader Ginsburg in our production of Scalia Ginsburg, and previously gave a brilliant performance singing the title role in Rossini's Cinderella. Mary Beth has performed at some of the top opera houses across the country, including the Glimmerglass Festival, Florida Grand Opera, and Tri-Cities Opera. Joining Mary Beth at the piano is Opera Las Vegas music director, Joshua Horsch. Thank you. 
Our second selection today is the famous Dance of the Blessed Spirits, which comes in the second act of the opera as Orpheus makes his way into Elysium to meet his beloved Eurydice. The music in this scene evokes the extraordinary beauty that greets Orpheus as he sees Elysium for the first time. This brief ballet features one of the most beautiful flute solos in all of opera, and is performed regularly in recitals by flutists around the world. Joining us today is the outstanding flutist Dr. Colleen White, professor of flute at Kansas State University. Colleen maintains an active performance schedule around the world, with recent highlights including appearances with the Colorado Symphony Orchestra, the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra, the Atlantic Music Festival, and in recital at Carnegie Hall. Thank you. 
Thanks for joining me today and for spending some time listening to our extraordinary performers. If you want to see more performances from Opera Las Vegas, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us at operalasvegas.com. See you next time.